So today is a huge day because I get to build my next race bike from the ground up. Now this is the frame of a Suron Ultra B. You've seen this bike in the past. We called it Gold Member 2.0. It was very much so the test mule of all of the builds that we have done. This was the first Ultra B to get the full powertrain from EBMX put on it. Um, we put an 85 front end on the bike and we tried to ultimately beef this up into a bike that can compete against actual gas dirt bikes in a race. And it did good at that. But now it, it was, it was kind of time for a refresher. A lot of parts have developed and we've gotten to the point where we can make this bike even better. So I started tearing it down and ended up getting to a point where it was almost torn down like this so I could go through all the parts. And I was scrolling on Instagram and saw this company called Palmer's Powders. They had just powder coated a seriously killer looking bike. And I was like, ah, this frame's pretty much right there. I might as well send it into them, right? So we got this bike back. It is powder coated from the raw material underneath. So he went in and he sandblasted it to this raw color and then he put a clear powder coat over it. So now, it looks very OEM, and I'm gonna be theming that around the build that I'm doing. So I'm very excited to show you guys what this is gonna be like because I can promise you it won't be like any other build you've seen. So I don't wanna give away my theme this early in the video, but I will give you a hint. I am going to be theming it after a specific brand of gas bike and a specific edition of that gas bike. Drop a comment below on what you think I'm gonna be doing and then stick around to the end of the video to see if you got it right. Very interested to see what your guys' guess is on what bike I'm gonna be turning this into. So the first step in building this bike is determining what kind of a powertrain you wanna put on it. For me, that's a no-brainer. It's the EBMX powertrain. This is the same powertrain that was previously on the bike. Very tried and true. I even got the chance to go to France and ride at the EBMX race bikes out there. Phenomenal race bikes. I, I could not believe what those bikes could do. So with that being the case, we are going with the EBMX X9000 controller, the EBMX XUB80 motor, and then we're gonna put an 80 volt, 75 amp hour battery in this bike. Push high power, get really good range, ultimately make it just an incredible powertrain for this bike. Now, the really cool thing about this is EBMX recently released a wiring harness that is dedicated for this setup. So it eliminates all the extra plugs, everything you might see, just gives you a very straightforward connection. It's even lighter weight, you know, not that wires make up that much of a difference in weight, but all in all, very much so simplifies things, even to the point where I don't even need a key on my race bike, which in my opinion is great. So definitely throwing that in the bike. And then they also made this new design for the controller mount. So this is going to go on the bike, make it look super sleek up against there. It's a lot, lot better designed than their previous mounting system. So if you have an X9000 on your Ultra B, you should definitely look into this because it is very good looking when it's on the bike. So yeah, I think without further ado, let's go ahead and start installing this on the machine. <laughs> Just like that, the hardest part is out of the way. Got the motor and the controller on the bike. It's all wired up thanks to this new harness that EBMX made. This is the easiest way that I've ever had to do this. You're not dealing with so many other connectors. It fits up so well to the bike. It's so clean. Normally you put a bunch of wires up here in the head tube to kind of store them. All those are eliminated. So it just kind of strips it down to the bare basics of what you need to run this drivetrain. And it's amazing because it's so much more reliable to have something like that. So if you've got an X9000 controller, a battery, and the XEB80 motor, definitely use that wiring harness. I can't tell you how good 
this looks now. Plus, it's actually way easier to mount this up to the bike because it fits in so well. You mount it to the side of the controller and then it just goes straight to the frame and you're not having to fiddle with anything else. So this was the easiest controller install that I've actually done. This whole bike has gone a little bit smoother than I was expecting it to. Um, so hopefully that doesn't change here as I progress into the next stages. But I think from this point, I'm gonna go and put the subframe on the bike and then I'm waiting on a couple of other parts. So once those kind of more special parts come in, we will continue and finish out this build. Well, it's a new day. I got a bunch of new parts. Extremely excited to get them fitted onto the bike, but let's take you through all the parts that I got for it. Suspension is ultimately what defines how good a bike is gonna be. And when you're pushing as much horsepower as the eBMX powertrain can, you need some really good suspension. So I'm very stoked to have received the Cirrus Fork and Shock. This is pre-production prototype that we're gonna be testing, and I'm very excited to get this on the bike and give it a go. There is some incredible technology within this. This is one of the biggest shocks that you can fit on the bike, and this has got a closed cartridge system inside of the fork, which is very, very advanced technology, especially for anything the Ultra B has seen. So I'm very excited to actually get this on the bike and give it a go. And stepping over to the other side of parts that have shown up, Warp 9 has stepped in to help me out a bunch on this build. So I'm very excited to get these on the bike. They provided a gold triangle. I actually don't know if this is gonna fit at the moment with how large the rear shock for this bike is gonna be. So we'll stay tuned to see if I can get that to fit. I'm really hoping I can, because this is, they, they put some awesome technology within this to be able to grease it properly and yeah, very hopeful that I actually get to run this part. They got me some blue foot pegs. I've got the option to do some silver foot peg screws or some gold. So I'm gonna have to see what I think about that. I'm kind of leaning towards the gold. We've got a lot of gold accent in this bike, so that might be kind of sick, but the blue is going to pop on this. I've grown to love Warp 9's handlebar mounts. They killed it with this design. It's nice to provide cushion to your palm. I know that this Cirrus suspension is gonna do absolutely amazing, but this provides just that little bit of extra layer to get the hands to not fatigue as much. So very stoked to put that on the bike. Once again, this bike is pushing some seriously high power. So these are a must in my opinion. Warp 9's front and rear titanium axles. These have got such a cool design as well. So they come with this, which is a perfect axle remover. We stick it in, it locks, you can pull the axle out and then release that. These are just absolutely beautiful and extremely strong. So that makes a huge difference on this bike. Now I already put the bike pretty well together, but Warp 9 showed up with their titanium bolt kit. And yeah, there's no way I'm not putting this on the bike. So that's gonna add just a lot more blue flare, much stronger bolts, even lighter weight. Really excited to put this on. And last but not least, Warp 9 Signature. We're definitely putting some of their wheels on this bike. These are beautiful. Gold, blue hub, big old 260 front rotor to stop this bike. So stoked to put these on. So that's what I got for parts at the moment. Let's go ahead and put these on the bike. This little piece here is your first real hint to the theme of what I'm doing on this bike. So let's keep building. Well, if you haven't already guessed, I'm doing my own version of the Honda 50th Anniversary Edition race bike. As soon as I put this graphics kit from Throttle Therapy on this bike, it's gonna be complete and I can finally get after riding it. So let's get this done.
you guys just saw how well this bike performs in a motocross setting, and believe me, there's a lot more to come of that, but Red Bull TKO is one week away, so we traveled all the way out to Tennessee. I had to turn this bike from a motocross bike into a hard enduro bike, but stay tuned for the next videos. I take you guys through how I did that and possibly beat this bike up in some hard enduro. Now you're stressing, sending out texts without the X like it's a fight.